Hi everyone, I am meteorologist Scott Colston, and here is your Montana weather hazards briefing for the week starting Monday, January 18th. For updates, please visit the National Weather Service webpage or contact any of the Montana National Weather Service offices. The main weather impacts this week include a continuing flood advisory until further notice for an ice jam on the Jefferson River near Three Forks, ongoing winter weather through Monday across much of the state, the potential for strong winds Tuesday into Wednesday for the east slopes of the Rockies, and a cooling trend to end the week with periods of gusty winds along with the potential for snow Thursday through Saturday. These are the potential hazards associated with this expected weather this week. Feel free to pause this presentation to take a closer look. First, we'll take a look at the current conditions around the state. The latest drought monitor continues at least abnormally dry conditions for much of Montana, except for west of the Continental Divide. Please pause this slide for further review. Here's a look at current snow depth across the region, which shows very little snow at lower elevations. Snow water equivalent in the river basins of western and central Montana remains at or slightly below normal for this point in the season. A flood advisory remains in effect for the Jefferson River near the town of Three Forks until further notice. On Sunday, emergency management officials indicate that an ice jam is causing some water to spill out of the river banks and spots, but it has remained near the banks and is not threatening structures at this time. Winter weather advisories will also continue across portions of Montana through the day on Monday. Light to moderate accumulating snow will continue in mainly mountain areas of western and central Montana and over the plains bordering Wyoming and the Dakotas. Gusty winds are also causing areas of blowing snow in these areas. Slick roads and reduced visibility will cause difficult travel, especially during the morning and afternoon commutes on Monday. Additional snowfall for Sunday night through Monday will be in the 6 to 12 inch range for the mountains of central and south central Montana, but these include either well maintained passes or hard to reach areas with standard cars or trucks. Other areas will likely receive 1 to 4 inches of additional snow. Another round of strong winds is likely east of the Rockies again Tuesday through Tuesday night. Gusts of 60 to 70 miles per hour are possible on the Rocky Mountain front and across areas south of Judith Gap to Interstate 90. This will likely cause difficult travel due to strong crosswinds for those driving high-profile vehicles or towing trailers. Similarly, strong winds may continue into Wednesday in the south. A significant change to colder than normal temperatures later this week may combine with gusty northwest winds at times to cause overnight wind chills to fall below zero. This may cause frostbite and hypothermia for those working or recreating outdoors at night. Here's a look at the expected precipitation for the next seven days. Much of this will fall through Monday with the current system, but another system may bring light measurable snowfall to much of the state Thursday through Saturday with the push of colder air. There is still some uncertainty regarding this later system, so stay tuned throughout the week to information from your local National Weather Service office. The trend for cooler than average temperatures will continue into the following week, but there is less certainty regarding the precipitation trend. Thank you for watching and listening. Here is a recap of the potential upcoming hazards. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of the National Weather Service offices in Montana. We hope you have a great but safe week.